history has taught me quite a lot. It has. Um, from the time that I've been born on this earth and for what I've read in history books and things that I've seen and observed and witnessed and did myself and done to others and somebody husband. See, I'm supposed to feel bad about it. To feel bad about it mean that you won't do it again. Um, I have iffy feelings about that. I'm split two different ways with that thing. Because I feel that if my... If I'm married to a man or if I'm even living with him and we are shacking up, we should know who you fucking. But it is, it's just like your right to do what you want with your own body was taken away from you. And we can get in the heat of passion when we walk in and we find somebody in the bed with our significant other and a fight a kill a murder they walk in they catch y'all right in the middle of fucking and you don't even do it like that with me and then he hung all down now almost to his knees and you screaming and you crying and she's straddling him oh and she just winding it mm, it's and then, boom, a fight break out, somebody kill, all because of sex, all because of a freedom to do what I want with my own body. I want to get to who I want to get to. I don't want nobody telling me I can't. This is my body. It's my choice, my decision. I feel the same way as women do about abortions. How I feel about what you do with your body ain't your business. And what you do with your body ain't mine. And that's how we supposed to respect one another. But the Bible done taught us to be some of the biggest hypocrites and some of our own worst enemies. Then keep on yelling, oh, the white man want to sell me. Mouse want to sell me. I just want to go home and sit on the right hand of God. I just want to sit there. I just want to go. I know he coming to save me. God's coming to save me. I'm on my seat. God going to heal me. God going to heal me. God must have been a doctor, a scientist or something. And he knew how to take herbs that he'd learned various places. He was called by many names. He had many, 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 many names. Very persuasive. He was so persuasive, he got people willing to kill one another for him. So persuasive. I sat back and I did nothing. Can't charge me with killing they did it of their own free will. Ain't that about like Jim Jones? What about Adolf Hitler? Did Adolf Hitler actually pull the trigger or did they do it on his behalf? Did they do it on his behalf? See, I'm torn between all of that stuff right there and I can't even lie about it. But I can't have that conversation with people because people who believe in God, they can't answer them questions. And then they don't want to talk about that. Well, it's written in the Bible. And Adolf Hitler written in there too, now ain't he? In a book, a history book, a history book. How many people did he have slaughtered and killed and no mercy shown to him? Who we blame? Do we blame Adolf Hitler or do we blame ourselves? Here we are still running around here. Got to go vote for somebody. Oh, I ain't complete. If I can't vote for Massa. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. So well trained. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. So well trained. Then those that I cannot break, I kill them. And those are the ones that somewhere around my age. Now they hang on to my little grandbaby who ain't but four years old. Oh, we want them virgin too. When we kill them, they go get them out, me one. 
I just want to see what it feel like to fuck a baby. I just want to see what it feel like to fuck a baby. I just want to see what it feel like to fuck a virgin. I ain't never done fucked a virgin. Ain't never had a virgin. Ain't never had a virgin. Ain't never had a virgin. Ain't never. Don't want that. Me and my age don't want that right there. They won't look over there at that one that look like his daughter to him. I can't look at him like that. I can't even do it. I don't even want to. I don't even really want to. I want to respect him as a child's age to me. And I want them to respect me, her mommy age. I ain't saying what too young, though. What's too young? Maybe 13. Childbearing age. They said, what, nine years? Baby can have a baby at nine, as early as nine years. Isn't that something? Is it nine, ten years? I mean, I don't know at what age do they ovulate. And and is it, be, is it because that someone has already been playing with their body before then? They were being molested because it's clearly child molestation for an adult to um, fondle a child and to rub his penis all between his legs for fantasies and pleasures. I feel nothing for babies. I feel nothing for small children. I'm not sexually aroused by, by, by men that are way younger than me. I don't know why. I don't know if that makes... Because sometimes I feel like something is really wrong with me. And I know it is. Then don't let me get that pain right now. And I was going to feel like I was about to stroke out. Is it a blood clot? Oh, Lord. You coming for me, God? Is you coming for me? Is you coming, Master? <laughs> Don't come, Massa, trying to kill me. Massa was death, you hear me? Better believe. You ain't come when I call. You don't come sneaking up on me like a thief in the night. I come upon you like a thief in the night. Isn't it written? I didn't write it. I didn't write it, but I read it. And the one that I, I like is the, 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 the most alarming is the one I like to refer to the most is the one that um, shows a true conditioning of one's mind and not your, 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 I don't know how come they can get people to follow, you know? I just can't get it. It had to be, you know? Oh, they finna kill us all. I ain't ready to die like that. I'm just not ready to go. Or those that kill still trying to protect their young. Many died just trying to protect their young from them that wanted them. You don't think they were harvesting organs back in the day, creating longer lives while taking others to create a longer life, take another to create a longer life. I'll take a sacrifice. Sacrifice your son to me. I don't know if it was Mount Sinai, but anyway, let me get back to numbers. And, and we don't find it alarming. We still follow after that pattern to this day, but yet we say, thou shalt not kill. And yet we're killing. And then we sit in our bedrooms and we train killers too. You go out there when you get to school tomorrow, you kill his ass. I bet you he won't make that college team. They were supposed to get at you, not him. You gone on the little gal dancer over there. Oh, look at her. She did. She sat you down, baby, but we can't have that. We finna lay her down. We gonna put her on her back and put her to sleep. You don't say nothing. Go on, on. Go on, on. I got that. How many of us living? We see it everywhere. We see it every day. It's in the Bible. Rebecca, didn't Rebecca not get rid of Lee? 
Cause she wanted that man. He's supposed to be my man. I'm supposed to have him. Two loving sisters, there he comes. What happened? His daddy sold both of them to him. The daughter didn't think she's supposed to share. She don't want to be no part of no two-woman shit. She want this here man all to herself. He's supposed to be in my man. Apparently, he done been playing in a pussy. Sound like it to me. Then going on over here to the other sister. Oh, 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 yeah, you belong to me. You don't want to marry. I just want to marry you. Probably didn't marry now. Well, I'm hell. For as I know, he might have had a wife at home. Because we really don't know that much about God and where he come from. We are taught to believe that he was the very first man there ever was. And everything else was just simply made by him. He ain't had to fuck to get nothing. I ain't had to fuck. I'm God. I'm a spirit. Yeah, I'm a spirit. I can make babies just like biggity, biggity, bam, bam. bam. I just didn't even have to wiggle it to do it. I said, Poof. and she came pregnant by me. If that were happening, if that were happening in there, when I on the way here, I'm coming back as a ball ego. I love Moana. It's an inspiring movie. We got to speak life. If we want life to come into existence, we got to speak life. We got to speak life. We got to speak peace and calm in the middle of the storm sometimes. Just to talk about shit help me feel better sometimes. Finding somebody that want to listen. Well, that's something else. We don't care about other people's problems. We go into a parade to celebrate a win. A baseball win. And we got people living on the bridges, and you want to, I don't I got time for that kind of crap. I ain't got, we got to follow after that. That's why we so wrapped up in nothing, and everything is falling apart all around us. So busy. I, we, I, I believe in having fun, but that's after the whole victory been won. The battle's still being fought by many. Ain't no victory in sight. And we keep on killing one another. One master to like us. I was going to let you sit on my right hand. Turn two brothers against one another and forgave the other one for killing him when he twisted them against one another. They stand in line to be ass to a land. But he can go over here and he can marry his sister and claim the land. He can get, Women ain't got, he took all say so away from him. He was known by many. I think that this book is the testimony book of this man. Numbers, very persuasive. Silver tongue, studied people, scientists. Studied, studied how they healed. Studied what they knew. Sat back and looked at what they did and how they lived. Ain't no telling how many disguises he had. He's a great magician, too. Probably escaped at the trial. His hideout, probably what they call heaven. Mm-hmm. Men. He was men. He had a lot of men follow him. Men. So how the hell you going to get another man to go out on the end to kill for you and you ain't his daddy? How the hell? Got a lot of niggas be like, back up off my boy. My boy ain't finna go out, John, and do no shit like that for you. Who the fuck you think you is coming over here like that? Pew. Bam. Right there in front of him. Kill the dad. Kill the dad. Come. Come.
when daddy don't get up there. Get up there. Many daddies supposed to be your hero. Not Michael Jordan. He just mine. <laughs> hey, Michael. Good morning. Yeah. Tell her I love you, too. Not just the way she does. I know. Y'all relationship is special. I get that. Tell her she's a very lucky woman. You know? And I respect that. Because she might not like to share. You know? I really don't care myself. I just like for you to be honest. Because I don't want to get rebecca I need to know who she is. If she at my house, I need to know why you here. Y'all finna go in the bedroom and sleep together? Because if so, then I need to give y'all your own little old den that y'all can have. You ain't allowed in the refrigerator. I don't want you around the food. Don't bring me no food and none of that. La, 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 la. Not until I get to know you. What are your motives and why are you here? Those are questions that should be asked if there's going to be another woman. Don't lie to her and make her promises that you know you got. You're not going to keep. You, you getting her hopes up. And see, she looking for a soulmate too. But you know you don't want her. You just want to play with her. You want to fulfill your sexual fantasies and your desires and fulfill your needs. All it, and, 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 and now you over here playing in her hair. Oh, I'm going to marry you. Mm, you just taste so good to me. Mm. Oh, you do it so good. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I'm going to pay that rent for you. Okay. I'm going to pay it. Where your money at, baby? I ain't work. I look, my job done paid this. I had to pay the car notes, the car insurance. I had to pay for somebody to watch these children. Ain't nobody going to watch them for free. So I can go to work. The job ain't paying shit. Where your money at? <sighs> damn, damn, damn. Lollipop sure had to have it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Lollipop had to have a place to stay. What'd you say? I said, listen, bitch, I'm sick of you popping off at the lips at me. That's what I said. Fuck you, bitch. I'm tired of you talking to me like you my mama. I'm tired of you living like you my motherfucking son up in this bitch. You back at it, bastard. How damn dare you? Arguments. I've been told you got to keep away from the name calling. Mm -hmm. Some of us call one another. We say we love some horrible names. Or say some demeaning things about them to try and break them down. You sure do look bad from the back. Look, just look. It's just wide and just flat. Got an ugly shape. You got ugly toes. Ooh, you got some real ugly feet. They just so jacked. Mm. Man, you got elf ears. <laughs> you got elf ears. You look like one of them little Keebler elves. <laughs> you can't cook. My auntie food is so much better than yours. You can't cook. I ate at her house. I ate at her house. I ate it. Well, my plate at. Why you gonna fix everybody a plate but me? Hmm? 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 Where the money at? You ain't paid. You ain't bought no food. You you know what God told you. If you don't work, you don't eat. You can work all you want to. And, and, and all of that. That's what God said. But I said if you don't bring no money or no food home, you ain't gonna eat. Clearly, you is the one in the way. I get you out the way, I might can get some food stamps to supplement what you ain't even doing. And you want to come up in here and eat up all the food, and you want me to fix you, plate master? Come on, y'all, chew, and come on and eat. But 
you say you love me. Come here and give me some. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is you doing? Why is you between my legs with your head? Why? Look, I'm on the couch trying to get away from you. Why? Why are you, why you got your head between my legs? I need you to leave, please. I ain't going nowhere. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, get away from me. No, stop touching. No. No, no, no. I said no, just grabbing. Please turn me a loose. No. I said turn me a loose. Look, you are holding me way too tight. Stop it. You know you like this. Oh. You can have it if it means you leaving me alone. Sometimes we feel for our life. And ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing we can do about it at that moment other than to submit to you. I submit to your me your will. That don't mean I submit to your way. It don't mean I submit to your mind. It don't mean I submit to your kind. It mean I submit to you that I may live. You can have it if it mean that much to you. It ain't nothing but a little piece of motherfucking sex. Ain't nothing else. You know, you knocking on a motherfucking grave right about now. Because I'm motherfucking about to be dead to you. You go file for you a divorce. Some women weren't even allowed to leave. You bitch. You looked at him. How dare you look at him? I hate you, you bitch. Couldn't leave. Who was the king that could even behead him? Lay your head. <laughs> lay it down. Wow. Lay it down. Get me that. You know, who was that? That thing that chops off a chicken head can't you see him now when that guillotine go down cross that head a person that can do that to another human being because when i look at other people i see the image of mine self i don't want to kill you i'm so happy that i feel that my mind has not been infected but I wonder how long, how much more before snap. Oh, dear Father, please, thine only Savior, Lord, don't let me snap and become one. I don't want to be that person. How can I shut it off? And see, God ain't got to get complete control of your children no more. The chains has been set in motion. It's like a runaway train on a track that never ends. And everything is all intact. And it, it, it runs so well. And, but no one can stop it. Because it's going so fast. And it's done spun all out of control. And everywhere I look, I see it. And that's all everybody want to do is just kill, 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 kill. And you want me to leave home? No. Ah, did it yes. I'd rather stay at home. Hallelujah. I feel for my life in my home. I feel for my life even more when I leave home. Is someone going to be driven to our anger? Or am I going to be driven to an anger and in race? Yeah, 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 because I'll go along with you now. You ain't going to talk to me any kind of old way now. I ain't no slave and I ain't no gal. I'm a gal. Yes, I am. I'm a cow gal. I'm my daddy cow gal. But listen to this. 
I have rights too. I might just be a black woman, a yellow woman. You think you you ain't you ain't, sh but I don't belong to you. Get your mouth and your mind off of other people. Be persuaded in your own mind that you the only one you can fix. And you responsible for them little bitty ones that you growing up in the bullshit that you teaches them. And then, you know, they got to go to school and they got to mental and they got to be mixed in with each other. And then we done instill rage and violence in them through that right there. Ever well. And then while you at work. You ain't got no parental controls on that TV out here. And now they want to get out here and they want to karate chop and they want to kick and they want to beat down everybody else in the neighborhood because that's all they see going on. And that's all we know. And that's all we do. And bam. And now he in jail. One dead. And another mother somewhere. <laughs> got a plant. Funeral for a little me old child, no. <laughs> oh, nah, yo, hallelujah. <laughs> and I walked with him in that pain. Mine wasn't shot, hallelujah, but somebody took his life. The most important thing on this planet, you cannot replace it. You can't give me back the last 20 years of pain and suffering and no answers and not clarity. And we keep on trying to be like that. Striving to plead master the best. The chosen one. To sit down with a man who I consider he, he, he wanted men folk. Jesus and his disciple women weren't allowed in. You don't see no women up in the Pope's places. Throwing room, brothel houses. I don't know. I know they did some strange things to people. They did some horrible things. I have images. And then I got to live in fear when I live here because there's so many people who still follow after that in that way. They'll chop your head off if they could do it and get away with it. Only thing keeping us safe is the laws in the land because they really want to turn them loose on us, each other. They want to turn us loose, turn them loose. All the ones that hate you, anybody that hate you, all the Ku Klux Klans and the, the neo-Nazis and all the white people that hate you because they really don't know you. Because the news media done painted a horrible picture of what black people really are. And then we see we so mean and evil to each other. We hate one another for no reason. People can move right next door to you and you hate them and don't even give them a chance and don't even want to get to know them. You just want them gone. And some people are result to such drastic measures because you move into the neighborhood and look at her. She thinks she all of that because she yellow. She don't know me. I kill her. I have one of my boys that pop a bullet in her head. You think they won't do it? Just like that. Nothing. Ain't got to be done did nothing. He could be fucking your sister and you don't even know it. Are you worried about who he fucking? Is that all it about who he fucking? Do he bring home the food? Do he bring the bacon in the dough? Do your dog bring the bacon in? Do he bring the bread in? Do he bring them? Enough been said. He come home to you. He take care of home. Because if he ain't taking care of home, then his heart ain't really there. His heart's somewhere else. And that's where he need to be. That's where he need to be. If her heart ain't there, she don't need to be there. You don't really need to be together. You ain't got to fake it for the cheerings. Oh, but I can't afford to get rid of her, though. So, yeah, I got to. But I got to hang on to this and end at him. I got to hold on to him. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Who ain't going to get their rent paid this week? God damn, these job cuts. Damn shit going up. God damn, they done went up $200 on my rent, man. 
I, I can't go see her this evening. I, I can't see none of them. I got to go straight home. Man, I don't know, though. You know what? I can't let that one go. You know what? My wife going to have to bite the bullet this week. I ain't, I ain't studying that shit, you know? I got to go over here. I got to make sure that y'all right over here. I got to make sure she all right over here. That bitch was willing to kill her old man to get me. I got to drive there to see her. I got to make sure her rent paid. She was willing to get rid of her old man for me. But I got another one over there who did the same thing, man. <laughs> Hell no, trust them bitches. Hell no, if they kill their old man, hell no, man. I'm just gonna be done with them. I ain't gonna let them know shit. Bam, I'm gonna be gone. Man, I, I can't let them give me nothing, man. I can't eat there. Hard for me to sleep there. Man. I don't trust her at all, man. You know she got an abortion. You know she, you know, man, if you a kill your own baby, what the fuck you won't do to me? You'll kill your own kid if it ain't mine. I don't care. I don't even care, man. You know what? That make it even worse. You want to kill somebody to try to cover that shit up? The fuck? Man, it ain't. It's just the fetus. That's all it is. It's just a fetus. Man, but that thing got a heartbeat, though. You know, that's what they said. They said it got a I just, I don't know. You know what? You know what? It don't matter. That's on you, you know. But don't expect, you know, me to want to hang out. Don't come around here no more, okay? I don't want you no more. I don't care. Well, you shouldn't have been swinging over this way then. You know you got a man at home. That's where you should have been with your man. That's where you should have been at, baby gal, with your man. Get on up out of here. You go on and bounce, bitch. Go on bounce. That's what you do. Go on, kitty. Hold on, hold on. I got the money for that. You go on and you do that. But guess what? Don't come back around here. Don't come around. You ain't my type of woman. I don't want to be around you no more. Go on. on. Baby. Baby, I, you know, I cannot lose my home. You, you cannot give me the things that he give to me. You cannot do that. I cannot. I, and you're just somebody that I just like to have sex with, okay? I thought you knew that. I wasn't trying to get pregnant. Then why did you even bother about telling me, bitch? I mean, what you want? How you want me to? What you trying to do here? You ain't even had to tell me. All you had to do was go on, bam, 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 and handle your business. You know, I wouldn't have never knew, but now that I know what kind of woman you is, I'm glad for that. Go on, bounce, bitch. Get up out of here. Piss in this cup. Let me see. I'm going to do a pregnancy test myself, bitch. Give me some piss in the cup. Hold on. They just a dollar at motherfucking Dollar Tree, bitch. These motherfuckers come a dime a motherfucking dozen. I got a whole box of these bitches on standby piss. Just cause I got yeah, I got a little money too. You ain't gonna keep on trying to play me against your old man cause he my friend. Fuck you. Go on, on and leave. I had you for he did anyway. Go on, leave. Oh, bitch, you here pregnant. Might be your husband. It ain't his. I ain't slept with him in over six months. I know it ain't his. Hey, it's your car. It's your car. I told you not to get with him. You left me for him. Now you want to come back and tell me that you're going to kill my baby for him? What the fuck kind of sick shit is that, bitch? What the fuck kind of sick shit is that? Lee. She like that go on. You want them to know how much you don't like them. Why, though? Why? Don't deal with somebody that you really feel that way about. Don't. Well, you can't do it. You know, he don't do it like you do. You know, you so good at bad. 
that, you know? I just, I love the way you do it. The way you move your body, you know? And you just hit it so right, you know? He, he can't do that. He can't do that. But I love him, though. I love him. I love you, too. But, but it's so much more with him. It's just, I, I love you, too. But... I love him more than just the sex and the friendship and the way you and I can just talk and laugh. He, he, he comes at me a different angle. And I love you both. I'm just saying it's with him I want to be with, okay? And if he find out that I'm calving your baby, that's that young and that willful bullshit. <laughs> That dick is so good. You just you don't need to halfway squeeze down. That you just let it all go. Oh, you can have it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit. <gasps> and you know what? <laughs> it can be so good. It can make you want to just get so sympathetic. <laughs> hey. You just in love with them at that very much. Because they made my body feel so good. I need that in the mind area too these days. I look for a little bit more. When I was young, sex was all that I basically looked for. And then a relationship might have spawned off of that. Because if you continue to have sex with the same person too many times, because you ain't trying to give it away like that. <sighs> You're a slut if you do. You can't just bounce from dude to dude to dude to dude. But you'll be a slut. You'll be a whore. But I'm not getting paid for it, so I'm technically I'm just a slut. But I might as well get motherfucking paid if I'm going to bounce from dick to dick. I'm just saying. If it pays the bills, then why I got to be called a prostitute? Oh, I'm called a working girl, okay? I'm a working woman. Because I'm going to do it if I ever have to. And he going to be like, uh -huh, I'll pay you for some. I'm going to be like, if I really need that money, I'll be like, okay. It's my body. I don't have to sell some. It's a commodity. I do what I want with my own body. I don't have a master. I don't. From a long age back, we get to doing what we want with our own bodies. And everybody else should respect that. As long as your daughter is keeping with someone that's close to her age and daddy ain't the one back in there fucking her, you got a lot of that shit going on. Then you got a lot of men who take a boy body out of his natural birth order and back there screwing him in the area where we know makes people sick. It makes people sick. Destroying his body and his mind, then threatening to kill him if they tell, taking their little girl body and conditioning it, taking the little boy's body and conditioning it to desire sex so that it can be pleasing to him. Then a threaten him. I'm going to kill you if you tell anybody. You better not tell nobody. I'll kill everybody in this house. I'll kill everybody in this house. Whew. Now there's something else. Not even the one that persuaded you to want it. By playing with you. Getting close to you. Licking on you. Licking on you in certain places. Taking eight fingers and try to rub them between your legs. My daddy ain't never did that to me. My daddy did not ever. I was so happy to see my daddy coming. Hey, daddy! See, he caught the top of the driveway. My daddy was not a good provider. He was making over three hundred dollar back in the day. I don't know. He made enough money for us to have a place to stay, even to have a home of his own. 
Then I later found out that not only was my daddy on alcohol, but he was also on that white horse. If you wanna ride, don't ride no high, or get on a roller coaster instead. <laughs> And, and therefore, he he didn't provide for his family the way he, he could have. And we had to move around a lot. My tea has gotten cold now. We had to move around a lot. And a lot of times you just go, and I don't even know if you um if the things were were they I don't even know what happened to the things when we had to move. It wasn't brought to my grandparents' house where we used to go all the time. We went to my grandparents' house, and then finally my mom was able to get her own spot. I'm trying to think back how far that was. And then because she didn't really make a whole lot of money, we moved around a lot and not having a vehicle and lack of resources makes it difficult for a lot of people in rural areas. And and I think that there should be like trains. Modern trains should extend throughout the whole state of Georgia. I just feel that. I feel that there should be rails along main highways, and rails that run back out into the rural areas so that transportation can be provided to all. How can we say we want things to heal when we can't even get around? And we know people are suffering and living in poverty and we don't want to do nothing but ask for some more money. Are you crazy? And, and we say it's necessary. We say it's necessary to steal other people's money. We should be like the ants. The ants don't need no money. They just get up and go and go get it. They get up and go and go get it. And then they pull together and they build a house up together. They, I know they got the queen up in there. They do it all for the queen. But they don't need no motherfucking money, though. If we could take money out of the equation. And, a, and, a, and just to show that people are out here working going about it, helping build up farms, helping to can food. We all, we got to rely on our, our, we got farmland right here. But we got food coming in from Mexico and Peru. And we don't want them in here from the South. We don't want them people up in here. We don't want their commodities. They farmers, they're agriculturals. They come in and if they didn't come up in here and work, it wouldn't get done. We want to eat everything, but we don't know how to get out there and get it. The common way to survive has been taken away from many because they are too busy trying to make a dollar, a dinero, a peso, so they can buy a boat, a yacht, a plane, an island, and ain't going to do nothing but put houses on that island. Just take away, take away, take like termites and shit like that. Chop down all the trees and do that kind of shit. Tear down a good house to get some more wood to build up another one and not even buy a little old lot of land and and build another one on that, then come, come on over here and you live. You just got to work out here, you know. We can do all of that together with the neighborhood. You can't, that's not allowed. You can't do that. We ain't gonna have that. You can't give nobody no house. How the fuck you say? You say I can't give nobody no house. You can't tell me what I can motherfucking give to somebody else. Who the fuck are you to keep on making all of these decisions about what I do with my own motherfucking money? That shit like that is part of the biggest problem that we are suffering from today. Taking people land, taking their money, telling other people what they can do, and then sicking your hound dogs out here on people. And then we done turn on one another and we hate one another. And there was a time in history when we stood together. In greater numbers. But now we divided in the greatest number of all. And the conkins them becomes. <laughs> I'm 
so sick of all these niggas. What did that man say? He was being investigated by the FBI? He was a general or was he? I don't know what his rank was in the military. He said he wanted to kill everybody and then keep a few people on this planet. He wanted everybody else gone. That's his level of insecurity. Because they think everybody is out to get them after acts of war. Maybe they are. What about you? You say you did it to defend someone that was not charging against you. All their defenses was taken away when you charged. I come upon you as a thief in the night. <laughs> no swords had been sawn. Not a one sword. Not one. No blood had spilled. No innocent blood upon the grounds. But yet I charged. Yet I drew your blood. I drew your blood. <sighs> I took your life. I took your soul. Oh, that makes me great. I'm not afraid of anything. What was that? What was that? They coming to get me. They coming because I see brown people everywhere. I see brown people everywhere. You're a black man, though. Yes, but I killed a whole lot of brown people. I killed a whole just like my brother, I saw it. I looked into his face, and he looked just like my brother. He looked just like my brother. He must have been six. How old are you? I ain't but 18. This was my brother. He looked just like him. Pull yourself together, boy. This is a war. But, sir, what did he do? They won't give us the land with the diamonds. That's what we want. We want the diamonds. We'll kill them all. I want that oil. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. And I'll occupy their land. And I'll occupy their wealth. Oh, I promise you, if you help me to conquer them, you'll sit on my right hand, babe. You're my sweetheart. You're my lover boy. My male child. I love you, my little boy. Come here, let me pat your head. When I read the Bible, I see so many things. So many things that we consider abnormal today, but yet we go to church and we serve God because we're afraid of what he would do to us. We worship the master because we are afraid he's going to kill us. But not only has God taken life from us, he's also taken our death too, saying that he has the ability to give us a heaven or a hell. I see you, hell. I'm going to dance on them flames. Because I want to be a ballerina, I would love to spin on my toes. And go way up and just go high. You know how they take their hands and they throw them up and they spin around. And they come back down and do that little foot out. I don't know what it's called, but it's the most beautiful move. And they spin up on the flames. And I want to spin up high. Pull the flame way up high. Whew. I'm going to produce some moisture in the air. I ain't just going to be sitting there. <sighs> I wonder what they doing up there. Is they having fun in heaven? They ain't. Is they having fun and cool up there in heaven? It's a, it's a overrated. All they doing is bow down before Master. All they do is bow down and sing praise and worship to him. All day. It is so overrated. Nothing. Nothing. You guys are playing cards here. You guys have a roulette wheel of flames over there. Look at him how he throw. Throw the flame. Throw the flames. That's skip the flames. 
Skip the flames over the flames. Look at the smoke. Those are smoke balls he had over there. It's light everywhere. What the hell are you talking about? It's light everywhere. All this flame. Look at it. It's beautiful. Ain't no pit. This the, uh, look at all that water running over there. What is you talking about? That's all the sweat. That's all the sweat. Because <laughs> it do get a little hot up in here. But look at that. We got fresh water. That's some fresh water. Go drink. Boy, you ain't got to be thirsty. But over here, look, we done made some wine. This right here is the dark matter wine over here. You take you a little sip of that. <laughs> Boy, ain't no more death. You ain't got to worry about dying. You can drink till you pass the fuck out and get on up. And you can go on back out there and you can become that bald eagle if you want to. Because this is your spirit. You can live down in this pit of misery and you can beg God all day long to come save you. He didn't get off of his throne to save his only begotten son. Why you think he coming to get you? Money don't walk. It ain't got no leg, no feet, no hand, no mind. You got to go get it if you want it and claim it. It ain't got no mind. Everything with a mind. When we claim animals, I know I got some. I don't even claim them no more. But I do claim them, though, because they live here. And then I got three in this little bitty little old space, you know. But do I have a right to claim them, though? Should I just let them go? But then I can't let them just run all over the neighborhood and make a muck. So why did you buy a dog anyway? I didn't buy them dogs. I didn't bring them here. I didn't do that. You know that? I've never purchased a dog. But I have gotten one before. From someone. I, I've never purchased a dog. I do see some that I would like to purchase. But I just, I, it's been something that I've never been able to just walk into a store and, and pay six or seven hundred dollars or eight hundred, even a thousand, twelve for a dog. I've never had it like that. And and once I get, let's say the times that I've filed income taxes, I've never broken ten thousand on an income tax, never. And then when I do get what I do get. I'm already behind on something and somewhere over there. It's been something that has gone wrong somewhere. You know, it done been job cuts. I done been let go for so many different reasons. For so many different reasons, I too have quit. So I say we even on that shit, you know? So many reasons I have been. I feel tired. I want to go, but my mind live in a state of fear. The what if? And then I'm tired of being like that because I'm being robbed and I'm being deprived. I'm a 54-year-old woman. I should be able to thrive. And then I suffer in my mind because of so many different things and nothing I've ever had control over other than me. Trying to control my mind. Trying to talk to people. You know, you got to be persuasive with your children sometimes. You have to be. But don't try to make up lies. If it's fish, say it's fish. That's fish. Is this chicken? No, that's fish. No, that's fish. That's fish. I'm trying to be honest with them. About certain things. Ma, is there a Santa Claus? No, there's no little man that flies a sled in the middle of the air, lands on chimneys, lands on roofs and comes through chimneys and leave gifts under the trees. Catch some motherfucker you don't know up in your house if you want to underneath your criminal tree with a red bag. He was probably a crook. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows why people, you know, and then the tooth fairy. Nope, there's no such a thing as a tooth fairy. Is there an Easter bunny? Nope, no such thing. They're the ones that you see on TV. The Easter bunny symbolizes Easter for whatever the reason. The bunny, I, I just, I don't know. Um, 
Who knows, you know? A chocolate bunny. Maybe people, they have had chocolate covered bunnies. I mean, I really don't know. The chocolate in the bunny? What does it really symbolize? The chocolate in the bunny? The Easter in the bunny? Why does the bunny represent Easter? Where did that notion and that idea of a chocolate bunny come from? I just don't know. And what does the resurrection of Christ have to do with you today? <laughs> Were you there to bear witness? Oh, yeah, he escaped. Yeah, he escaped. He probably went out to bath of that cave where they buried him, a tomb or whatever it was. And they had the person sitting at the front door. You know, people were standing out there watching, waiting. He said he going to come up out of there. Three days to get away. Was it three days? Three-day people stood, three-day people watched. Three-day people stood, three-day people watched. When they went in there to look for him, he was gone. He needed, he had a good getaway. <laughs> he had a good jump on them. And then his daddy, God, probably came through the back door. Come on, son. Come on. Good job. Good job. We close it. Make sure shh. you have to close it real quietly. Now, yes, you go this way, and I'll go that way. Through the chambers, through the tunnels, whatever it was. I just feel that way. When I read the Bible, that's how I read it. And and I want to, I would like to. Um, but I, there's so many people out there who are such firm believers that God is some super being who has the ability to look at all of us at the same time and will decide um, who's going to sit on his right hand. I mean, I don't get that. Um, is that going to be after the coming of the end of the world that he going to decide who going to sit on his right hand? Or is it like person after person right now? Oh, you're not worthy. You're not going to sit on my right hand. Get your hands up and up here big. And what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, pitchfork, pitchfork, red button. Boom, hell. Boom, hell. 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, hell, hell. Oh, look at him. He is a young, strong looking stud. That's what I see. There was nothing allowed but men. That's the only thing that the book. What the hell, man? You know, don't want a damn woman, girl. A woman, girl. You know, a woman, girl. I'm a girl. I might be 55, 50 some, but I'm a woman, girl, and I'm 21 forever, okay? Get over it, okay? Get over it. Listen. <laughs> I was looking at Steve over what that the lady said. She this how she get a man's attention when she see him and she do that shoulder like that. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that a man? Oh yes. We know a man when we see one, but not unless they have had a transgender uh, reassignment surgery done, and I'm not opposed to that. I am opposed to hiding your true identity. That's not your true identity. I think that you should identify with who you were born. You shouldn't be allowed to trick nobody into thinking that you are a woman and you are capable of bringing the things that this man want a woman to bring to him. That is so unfair. You had your penis removed. You still a man. You taking hormones, hormones, hormones. In your mind, you a woman, but in your heart, somewhere, it's still the heart of a man. The penis gone, but all of the things that it took to make that penis are still there. And I wonder about the hormones, all them hormones that people take. Is it bad on their body? What about their bones and stuff? 
I wonder, is it in the long run, is birth control bad for these young people? You know, is it at some point where your body truly becomes sterile from taking all of that stuff? And your body will no longer have the ability to reproduce. Could it help call cancer? Do a sperm, because see the woman's body create a natural lubricant called a spermicide when you have sex in the vagina. If you have sex in the rectum, there's nothing to kill off that sperm in your body. And let's say you get a tear in the lining of your, um, what is it called, intestines. And what about the colon? Does the sperm attach itself to the colon and start eating at it? Eat at it, eat at it, eat at it, eat at it. Because it's already a virus to your body. It's not a natural part of your body. You, your body recycles it and everything else that it goes out the waste chamber. And then I think about, let's say that when you have anal intercourse and you are a man, do feces get impacted in the penis? Could it block it up? I mean, I'm just one. Those are things that I really would like to know, you know. And and, and I feel like opposites attract. That's just me. But I'm not opposed to you living your life any way that you want to live it. And choosing who you want to be, your soulmate, is left entirely up to you. But I feel that you should be old enough to make that choice. And it should not be taken away from you while you're in the bed in the middle of the night. And then this monster in there. And then you screaming, ah! Because he in here hurting you. And you crying. And he done said, if you see anything, I'll kill you. There's a monster. There's a monster in the closet. There's a monster under my bed. He's a monster. He's a monster. You can't tell your mama because he done said, I'll kill you. Kill you. I kill. I kill everybody in this house. You better not say nothing. And he can't tell his mama. And he's sitting in a fecal position at school. And his little body is hurting. And his little mind is hurting. His little mind is torn. And you got people out there that'll do that to him. You see a dog will fight another dog off if he try to go back there. They sniff. Yeah, he's a boy. Let me let me try though. Let me try. Leave him on alone. Don't even try to fight about that right there. But then you come up in here. I come upon you like a thief in the night. I'm stealing your innocence. I'm stealing your fucking dignity. All oh, for some sexual satisfaction. Some sexual pleasure. You better lay here. You better take it, boy. I'm gonna, you think I'm going to stay in this house and pay all these bills? I'm going to have everything I want. Yes, honey. You can have him. You say you want him? Did you say it again? You got two different types, three different, four different, five different types of women now. Because see, that thing right there can play out so many different ways. But here's the thing now. Ain't nothing nobody should say. However you handle that situation. Mm -hmm. If you abandon your child and they most time in need in the system, take them away from them and then let them go. You didn't care about them when they were going through something so terrible as to be raped, molested, victimized, gunned to the back of the head. Well, I didn't know he was a fucking Dr. Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde. I didn't know. It's a lot of that going on. It's a lot of that going on. And then we allow people in our house so easy because we taught that it's a sin if we don't have a husband. It's a sin if you don't get to know him. It's a sin if you don't get yourself. But we're not taught that. We gotta find a husband. I gotta have a husband. Because we're ready to build a home for ourselves. Build a home for yourself and find out who we who you would like to. No, you cannot do it that way. You gotta go into this thing together, a joint venture. You gotta get together and do it this way, and you gotta do it that way. And the Bible says that this is the only way that it can be done. You're sinning when you live under the same roof. You're sinning when you don't get to know them from different bedrooms. 
it's okay. That's what I'm looking for. I want to get to know someone from a different bedroom in the same house. No hanky-panky going on. Because that's going to see the deal right there, as far as I'm concerned. That's how you see the deal right there. Got to be a connection. But what if you're trying to get something and he can't even get it? Do that count? I don't want that, no. You should be able to exit out and go on about your business because we's one big old X. The woman is the X chromosome. We should be able to exit out. X, X. X, X. X that shit on up out of there. This is not, it didn't work out. We tried. We're going to go our own way, you know? You got that room back in there. I'm taking everything out. I'm emptying it out. We gave it a try, but it didn't work out. That's that's how I would like to try and build a relationship with someone. Like a year of getting to know them and if we continually want to get to progress towards each other. But I want to date other people. I don't want to just settle in on one. And because of the lack of a lot of men out here, then we sometimes will gravitate. And like we feel like we are so unattractive and no one really wants us. <laughs> we're the older guys. We're the the cougars ain't no fucking cook i'm a motherfucking jaguar i don't know what you're talking about and i'm a classic at that because i'm over 20 years so i'm, I'm all classic mm -hmm. i'm all classic i promise you mm -hmm. i am a classic i'm unique i'm one of a kind i am Mm. as is every other woman, every other man on this planet. You too are an original. You too are an original. But what if they're twins? They too are originals. There is something that differs just a little bit. And that makes this planet so interesting to me. How I can see so many different people. And everyone's DNA is still different. And and even though they have the both, the, the same mom and dad. Two brothers don't look anything at all alike in, in many instances. They may have something that's common, but a, but a round nose is common in a lot of cultures. They, I look, it is. Common nose is like, a, a, a kind of a, a round one. It, it seems like it's a common thing in a lot of different cultures, not just a few. Then you see pointed noses in in a lot of different cultures. I don't just see one particular nose on any any one culture. One thing that that I see is like the slanted eyes on the Chinese. Very beautiful eyes, and so many times I try to do that love thing that make my eyes look a little bit more slanted. I can't do it right for shit. I guess because I don't wear enough makeup. I don't wear makeup that much. Now I ain't saying my skin's still sensitive as it used to be because any little thing I put on it, it would just break out real bad. My skin. So I use free and clear. And and I don't use foundation too much because foundation was the hardest thing on my skin. Foundation. But that Dudley, I remember one time um, Miss Tiny Good was doing my hair and she had some makeup that was so pretty. It looked just like my real skin to me. And it was hard for me. All the foundations I found and bought and purchased, nothing looked like that. And it always broke my skin out real bad. But that Dudley product didn't do that. And then Dudley and went out of bed because I didn't get, but I'm going to say I got one bottle from her. And then Dudley was gone out of bed, honey. And then I'm trying to think, was it someone else? I can't remember. But you know you need different foundations for, like, let's say if your skin has the tendency to get darker in it summer, you're going to want to find a foundation that's going to blend with your your skin, your summer tone. And then in the wintertime, if your skin has the tendency to lighten up, you're going to want to do a foundation that will work with that winter. And, and, and a lot of foundations have the ability to do that. But a lot of them don't have 
the stuff for sensitive skin or else I've stopped looking. I stopped looking for um, foundations a long time ago, so I'm not for sure what's out there. But it might help even my skin tone right in here. But I wish I could find some deadly, but it probably would be too old to use. Somebody had some up. But I wonder why did they go out of business, though. But listen, I'm on E now. Sometimes I have to talk to others to get on E. Um, and, and, and this is a conversation to myself. And then I'd be like, well, I don't know if I'm going to share it or not. Then if I go to YouTube, they're going to be like, well, you should cut it down. So no, I'm going to, if I upload it, I'm going to do the whole thing. And then I don't know how to upload the video. It's like something is going on with my blogger that it won't allow me to upload the video. So I don't know. But anyway, y'all have a great day. That is if I decide to share. So you, Carol, Carol. Listen, look at look at yourself. Look at look at me, myself, and I. Okay? Have a great day. DoorDash. Go and make you some of that money. Cause I know I need it. Cause I got taxes. I got property taxes. You know you got property taxes coming up, girl. You're gonna have to get out of here and you're gonna have to hustle just a little bit because ain't nobody never done gave you nothing. It's always been, I got to go get it myself. I quit school at eighth grade trying to go work to go get it for myself because nobody was going to give it to me. And my clothes were tattered. And sometimes people will point out the things that make you feel most insecure. And that's the only thread that you could find to sew up your pants. Look at your raggedy pants. You got earned. Or you go in there and then your pants split open because you outgrowing them and, and, your daddy working every day, and he won't help buy you no school clothes. And your mom only make a certain amount of money. And I realized that a long time. I didn't like school. I know I didn't like I know that. Okay, I'm having a conversation here. But my mind drifts off when I get to thinking about what happened. You know, how, how, trying to define me. I'm trying to define me. I'm like, done. My my youngest son is gonna be 22 years old soon, so I'm I'm single. I, I I have children. I'm a mom, but I'm not a single mom anymore. I'm a single woman. Mm -hmm. Right now, I am. I have grandchildren who I love to help care for. I have Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays off from because based on their work schedules. And I love it. I do. I love it. I love it. I, in fact, I love when they're going to work. It seems like my grandchildren and I can get along much better, and they are not as stubborn as they were when the parents are there. I don't get that. And so I go out, and I try hard to make me just a little bit of money extra because... I have taxes coming up, and I'm I'm a single woman. Okay. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Avenge the people of Israel on the Midianites. Afterwards, you shall be gathered to your people. So Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm men from among you for the war that they may go against Medan to execute the Lord's vengeance on Medan. You shall send a thousand from each of the tribes of Israel to the war. A thousand. That's a lot of people. That they may go against Medan to execute the Lord's vengeance on Medan. You shall send a thousand from each of the tribes of Israel to the war. So there we, so there were provided... Out of the thousand of Israel, a thousand from each tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them to the war, a thousand tr from each tribe, together with Denians, the son of Elzar, the priest with the vessels of the sanctuary. The priest with the vessels of the sanctuary and the trumpets for the alarm. That's when you go. They warred against Medan as the Lord commanded Moses and killed every male 
They kill the kings of Medan. The kings is your fathers. The fathers are the kings, the heads. The heads of families, the heads of our homes. Homes that people done built to live in. And the kings is the father. I guess, I mean, I really don't know the kings. Who were the kings? The people over, over who were the grandparents? You know, the oldest living. The king. Is the king the oldest? Where did the term king come from? I don't really know. To the war. They killed the kings of Medan with the rest of their slain. Evi, Rakim, Zur, Hur, Rebek, Reb, Rebbe, the five kings of Medan. And they also killed Baum, the son of Boar, with the sword. And the people of Israel took captive the women of Medan and their little ones. And they took a, as plunder all their cattle, their flock, and all their goods. All their cities in the places where they lived. And all their encampments they burned with fire. And took all the spoil and all the plunder, both the man and the beast. Then they brought the captives and the plunder and the spoils to Moses and to Elzar, the priest. And to the congregation of the people of Israel at the camp on the plains of Moab from the Jordan of Jericho. See, Moses didn't even go to war himself. Him or the priest. How you get all them people to go out there and fight for you? Moses and Eleazar, the priests and all the chiefs of the congregation, went to meet them outside of the camp. Oh, yeah, they ran to meet them. What kind of spoils you got? And Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands, and the commanders of hundreds who have come from service in the war. Moses said to them, have you let all the women live? Behold, these are Balm's advice. Cause the people of the Israel to act treacherously against the Lord and the innocent incident of Peor. And so the plague came among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman who has known man by lying with him. But all the young girls who have not known man by lying with him, keep alive for yourself. In camp, outside the camp, seven days, whoever of you has killed any person and whoever has touched any slain, purify yourself. And your captives on the third day. And on the seventh day, you shall purify every garment, every article of skin, all works of goat hair, and every article of wool. Here it is. This is in Numbers 31. I didn't make it up. I didn't write it. And I didn't read it all the way through. I read down to verse 17. Then Elzar, the priest, said to the men in the army who had gone to battle, This is the statue of the law that the Lord has commanded Moses. Only the gold, the silver, the bronze, the iron, the tin, and the lead, everything that can stand the fire, you shall pass through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall also be purified with the water from impurity, and, whosoever can, and whatsoever cannot stand the fire, you shall pass through the water. You must wash your clothes on the seventh day, and you shall be clean. And afterwards, you may come into the camp. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, they finna be in a lot of smoke burning. Burning. All that smoke and stuff are gonna get in their clothes and stuff. And they were gonna be smelling all burning, all stank. And ain't no telling what we're gonna get up in their nostrils and probably gave them black lungs. And they probably died from all of that smoke. After they done killed all of them innocent peoples, every little male child and every woman, they done already killed all the kings. So they was calling them, I guess they were calling them men, every husband a king, every older male a king. That's what it seems. I don't know, kill all the kings. That's all the men. That's the kings. And, and, and they spared us, but then they got up here, this bitch. Got some loose pussy. Is she a virgin? See, they, they, they had to have check you to find out. If you ain't laid with no man, then the whatever the hamla, hamla or whatever the hamla was still intact. And you ain't never had sex and none of that. And they was going to take you.
and they commanded this. And, and, and you want me to serve him? Ser service him? You said what now? Because, see, he knew he was hated. So what did he do? He had people to taste his food for him. Because he know he was hated. He was scared. Wouldn't you be scared if that's how you treated people? You wouldn't be scared somebody going to get you. But see, what they did was they took everybody away that could ever fight against them. And then they get with these little girls and they tell them anything. Anything. But these little girls remember the acts of war. They remember the acts of war that were brought on against their people and how you dragged them back here to this place after you done killed my daddy, after you done terrorized me, after you done come upon me, after you done terrorized our village, our camp. We running, we running, we running, we running, and we cannot seem to get away from you. Everywhere we go, you follow us, trying to kill us, and we not bothering you and don't want to bother you. But we want you to leave us alone. And they tell the police, and the crime rate is me. Pretty soon, you're going to have to come out of hiding and fight for your damn self because the young people killing each other up in the streets and stuff. What's going to happen? We, we hate each other.